Good morning, YouTube. So today is a pretty good day. So this is the Don coming to you with a first look on the 5v5. So less than an hour ago, I did a video for edit notice, uh, 20 April 2017. And now I'm going to have to eat my words. Because just as I logged on, just to do some quick little things before I was about to go to bed. Because yes, it is my bedtime now where I am at. But I saw this little strongest team pop up in my right hand corner. And I got all excited. So here we go. Um, let's take a look. So we are at the registration signups. Teams. It looks like there are some teams here. Let's see if we can't get any more info on this. So it looks like I have 24 hours to mate or to sign up my team. Looks like a little question mark. King Division registration time from 10 until 4:23:23:59. Division allocation, allocated results generated um, on the 24th at it's either midnight or noon, not positive. So the rules, joining a team will not affect your other teams in daily events. Level division teams will be decided after registration finishes according to the team level. The preliminaries play single player real time PVP battles to get points. Teams with the most total will, be, will advance. Promotion battle divided into three rounds, 1v1, 3v3, and 5v5. Team with the most victories which will advance. Matching for division and preliminaries will be announced at 424 at midnight. Champion reward. Oh man, look at that. Nice little new outfit we got coming out. Whoa. That is insane. I definitely won't be able to wear those wing wings with that one, <laughs> but strongest warrior, damn, PVP plus 60, valid for 14 days, that is crazy, what is this, sage stone, used to upgrade level 9 gems into sacred gems, so it looks like we're getting level 9 gems, people, 1,000, I wonder, yep, just magic gems and 60 awakening stones. So that is for the champion re uh, reward. Let's look at the other one. So it looks like it's pretty much the same other than the title. Sacred Hero is 50 PvP. Gospel Arrival is 40. The top 8 is Memorable Angel plus 35. 30 for top 16 path of wisdom 25 pvp for the top 32 and then 64 is 400 gems 30 of these little uh, awakening stones and the preliminary awards is 50 and 10 so let's look at level awards I'm not sure what the difference between champion rewards and level reward is. Um, we'll probably have to do another update video. It looks like it has all of the same things. PvP. Stones. Gems. Ooh, the fashion's a little bit cooler. I think I like this little blue one more than I like that white one. Everybody gets a little PvP going on. So it looks like the top 64 of the champion and top 32 of level rewards. Oh, sorry. Alright, let's look at our team. So we have Boom, created by Verifly. He's 3 out of 5. Cool Kids by It's Jason. Um, and Suicide Kill by Love Angel. So those are the first three teams that we've seen so far. I'm going to go ahead and create mine. Can selective powers over 1 million. So let's do that. Enter a team name. Let's go 
with the Dawn Inference. Uh, it can't be that long. Uh, so let's go with the Undead. Password. Should I create a password? Yes, let's create a password. Let's make... Well, actually, I'm not going to show you guys my password. I'm sorry. So I will actually have to create this some other time because I'm not positive if I can actually go back and redo it. So there you go, guys. First look, 5v5. Looks like we got 24 hours to register. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow I will be making one more video and actually show you guys what this is all about. So thanks for tuning in. Or actually, <clears throat> I haven't done this in a while, so I figure this could be a good thing to go ahead and do. Um, let's look at my character. I'll show you guys all the things that I had updated and what's new with my guy. So as far as my stats... Um, I've been putting everything towards deadly toughness and crit, obviously. So I got 16,000 toughness, 12,000 deadly, and 9,000 crit, 7,000 parry, 7,000 dodge, um, just about you know 25,000 plus damage, 10,000 negative damage, hasten bonus to 2,154, bonus damage 14%, immunity 6.72%. Dragons are, you know, what they are. But um, one thing that I did find out is for the damage bonus and for the immune, supposedly those ones only are in effect when both your exo and your endo heroes are dead. So those bonus damages and the immune, which would be, um, you know, takes away from the damage, those only take in effect when your endo and exo hero are dead uh, as far as skills i like to leave mine on leech just because i can do my boss level with it and everything like that um, those ones you can't really change but boss levels leech is awesome because i can just put it in auto i can eat the aoe and then uh you know get all my hp back so i don't actually go past my uh exo hero wings you know, level 3, looks, uh, fashion, titles, finally got my top 10 ennobled back. You know, I actually had to do my Apex War this week. Thank God I remembered. <laughs> and my magic ring has gotten up to level 79. Um, the thing I really wanted to show everybody was my goddesses. So, um, I had to switch around some of my holy places because I ended up getting another one of these little Mount Olympus. But we'll start off with my Endo, or my Exo. I still have the same one, uh, Valhalla, my goddess HP plus 50. I have Maria and Joan of Arc there basically for the parry, dodge, and the HP that they give. Plus I want to have HP on, on an HP, um, a holy place. So... For my Endo, I have Mount Olympus, Goddess Attack, plus 50. I stuck my plus damage girls, uh, the Love Goddess Venus. I uh, got one up to 7, the other one's still at 6. But um, Then I stuck my War Valkyrie on here also. Um, I'll show you guys why uh, here in a second. My, um, you know... Deploy. So Deploy is kind of what I'm working on right now just because I've already 100 starred both my Endo and Exo. Um, but for right now I only have uh, negative damage and MDef mainly because I have the negative damage Goddess Tower or the Holy Place. But then let's look at my character. So I was reading up on one of the uh, you know comments I saw on Facebook. I'm sorry I, I do apologize I forget what your name is. Um, but they raised the question about whether to use attack on the endo or on your main character. Um, I had gotten Mount Olympus a while back, um, so I had it mainly just on my endo hero. But when I got my second Mount Olympus, I put it on my, my main character and I switched around some of them. So now I have, uh, you know, Pandora. I know she has less attack but she also gives toughness so i think she's pretty important to have on your main character 
just so that you can survive um, even past when your endo and exo die. You're not losing out on, you know, all that toughness that you could have had. Um, and then same thing with Athena. Uh, she has a lot of deadly. I don't really care about the HP, but deadly is really good on her. And then also Freya, obviously the toughness, and then the bonus being the crit. So, um, they did make a good point that when your endo dies, um, you lose that attack, so you should put it on the uh, main character. Um, typically, hello Jamrick, nice to see you. Um, typically put it on your um, endo just so that um, her attack is higher, but... They raised a good question saying that you should have it on your main character just so it lasts longer. So I kind of split mine up because I didn't want just, I mean, I wanted the attack, the deadly, the crit, and the toughness on my main character. So that's why I have these three here. And then also I had the other attack, so uh, I put it on my Mount Olympus also with my Venuses. So that way um, I don't actually lose that plus damage, it's just you know, put onto a different hero than my main character. Um, so that is that for right now. Uh, we'll take a look at my heroes. So my setup is still the same as it's always been. Uh, Bruiser class with uh, Baja as being my Exo, my Hela as being my Endo, and my Odin as being my Deploy. Let's look at my setup. So, uh, I finally did get my little wishing genie. I did not get it off Fresh Boy. Uh, uh, you know, shout out to him again for trying to steal it from him. But uh, I did end up getting one. So, now I'm trying to upgrade to the next, to the red. Haven't had, you know, very much luck in the magic item department. But uh, then we got my Hella. Um, hers is also, I'm just waiting for the magic one. And then my Odin which I'm waiting on. I think this one actually gives HP. Yeah, so I'm waiting on another uh, Hope Branch to get my HP up, but then we're going to have to upgrade this one also. So hopefully I can find that other red treasure here soon. The one thing they did find out about red treasures is that you can't refine with a red treasure. So once you've put a red treasure on your actual... Uh, you know hero um, It is not worth it to get any more red treasures um, As long as you can't I mean the ones that you can stick in places that that they don't have them Those ones are worth getting but if you already have them on all of your characters um, They're not worth farming um, You're better off farming the gold treasures so that way you can actually refine with those ones like these ones right here um, I don't need to do it I can't change it okay so replace so I have a couple more demon bottles I could actually sit here and do this with we'll uh, we'll upgrade it on hers actually I don't want to get rid of this one so you can replace materials so this button right here down at the bottom you hit replace materials click on the one that you want to get rid of hit OK and then refine if you don't do that then it's gonna refine automatically whatever one you have in its spot uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that. <clears throat> so, here we go with my heroes. So, 2,000 crit, you know, it is what it is. Don't really need it on uh, all my EXO. 4,000 parry, 4,000 dodge. I wish I could get those a little higher, but it's seeming to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, 9,000 toughness and 8,000 deadly. Uh, I got 16,000 plus damage for my endo. I'm sitting on 5,000 crit, 12,000 toughness, 13,000 deadly, 37,000 plus damage, and 2,000 each for parry and dodge. And then my endo. So he's kind of just on the back burner still, but uh, I think it's about 1,800 crit. Hello, Jasmine. Thank you for mentioning me. 1,800 crit. 7,291 toughness, 6,000 deadly, 1,000 parry, 1,000 dodge, and 14,000 for damage. So that's with having, you know, all of it except for 
you know, a couple of the fate treasures that I don't have yet because I, I swapped one out. So if you didn't notice already, if you have a, a red treasure, you have to have them both. So like the ancient writings is the apple and the ship. The price of wisdom is this little nightmare contract and the branch, uh, hope branch. So even though the this one right here the nightmare contract takes the place of the apple um, it takes its place and you lose that fate so i wouldn't suggest upgrading to your reds until you have both reds or in the case of that you only need one red put that one red it's fine but in the case that you need two reds uh, wait until you farm both reds before you put it on, otherwise you're going to be losing that, uh, you know, HP or attack depending on which one you have and which ones you need. So, hopefully that's a good video for you guys. Um, a little new look on my updates and everything that we need to have done. Um, I'm so happy that 5v5 is finally out. I'm going to exit out of this video now so that way I can go ahead and create my team. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my first 5v5. Thanks.